Things are getting brighter. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to cover this. What is this? This is a new laser, my friends. So one of the things I wanted to do is upgrade my Ortura laser. So it has the quote unquote 15 watt input laser. So it's about three and a half, four watts. So I wanted to step up my game. And so I've now gone with a 7.5 output laser. So this is not quite double the power, but it's significantly more in laser terms than what I have with the 15 watt input, which is about four watts roughly. So again, I've picked up about three and a half, three, three and a half watts with this guy, which I'm hoping is going to make a big difference in a lot of my projects because one of the things, the 15 watt input laser or roughly four watt output is okay. Uh, however, it has to take a lot of passes to do things. That means a lot of time. And when there's a lot of time spent, I can't do other things. So I wanna go fast and I'm hoping this helps me go fast. Now I did some homework. This wasn't the cheapest thing, but it was, I think, affordably priced for what I purchased. So I'm gonna mount this on the Ortura frame and then use the 15 watt for another project. So let's unpackage this. So here we go. We've taken it out of the static wrap packaging and this is the laser. So a couple things about this. This has the modified sort of air assist and I'm gonna cover that a little bit more, why I say sort of in a second. However, this fan actually blows down and as you can see, blows the air straight out the bottom here. So it actually moves fumes away from the lens, keeping the lens clear, which is good and might actually help a little bit with puffing out flames. I don't think because it is not a focused flow of air will be effective for cleaning out curves. So I still will add uh, an air assist to this. Now, one of the pieces note, this has a bit of a rail on the back, if you will. And so it's gonna be a little bit different to mount stuff on here than my other one. However, the one thing I just noticed is it does have four bolts or four bolt openings on the bottom. So I can probably use this actually to mount my air assist. Now, the other piece is with this back, what happens is there's another bracket in here, I'll get to in a minute, that allows this to slide up and down so you adjust it by sliding. Eventually, I'm going to put some sort of Z-axis, mechanical Z-axis on there. Now, also, you can adjust the lens. It's a little bit difficult to get your finger in there, but it also does have an adjustable lens. One of the things I noticed on a lot of these, they were fixed focus, period, and you didn't have the chance to set the lens. So I wanted the ability to set the lens because I want to be able to change the lens if I need to. Now, the other piece is, this is supposed to be thermally sensitive, so the hotter the laser gets, the faster the fan blows. That's the second reason I don't think it's gonna be very effective for true kerf clearing, because again, you want air pressure going right into the kerf. Now, this does have, I believe, um, it looks like more than a four-wire interface, but here is the cable and that looks like four wires. And so that goes in here. Now I'm hoping, and I don't know this just as of yet, but I'm thinking this should be plug compatible pretty much with my Ortura laser. So changing the mountings, being able to hook this up. Now, the other piece though, because this is roughly twice as powerful, it does come with a power supply. Now this is, I believe a 12 volt power supply, 1.5 amps, hot center core, uh, and it does come with a interesting control board. Now my intent is again to use the Ortur control board to control all this. It does come with this neat control board where you can control the laser, the pulse width mod modulation and everything right from this board and get the data on these LEDs. And again, the power supply plugs in here. This cable plugs in here, goes to the laser. This uh, can go from here for the pulse width modulation to your control board uh, and this sit in between. Now I'm going to try to avoid that and make this as simple as possible and just make this plug into the Arturus and set it up. Now they do give you some hokey uh, glasses. A uh, little bit of a PSA. I had somebody write me and say, well, I'm scaring people with the laser glasses. I put these underneath and it stopped the laser. Well, your retina is not on the other side of this when you do a test like this. And please do not ever do a test like that 
because one of the pieces, as I said in my initial laser glass video, laser light is continuous light, so it's a cumulative damage. That is why you need a quality pair of laser glasses. Okay, PSA over. All right, so the next thing I want to take out is the mounting hardware. For my European friends, they give you this fancy little gizmo doohickey thing that's probably illegal in half of Europe, but that's okay. However, here is that bracket I was talking about. And again, the idea is this, if it's uh, loose enough, slides into here. And then you use this to cinch it down for the focus. Kind of crude focusing. Um, I'm going to probably start out with that, but I am definitely going to make some changes. I'm, one of the things I'm thinking about is making some changes with a Z axis to uh, actually uh, improve this. Because one of the things, when you cut something thick, you want to be able to move the laser. And if you can move the laser in its vertical orientation, you can cut thicker things more efficiently. And so that's one of the things I'm thinking about doing. So I have a couple things that I have in mind for this guy in the future and also the other 15 watt module which I'm going to probably adapt to one of my CNC's to experiment with the Z-axis idea. So I'll have a link to this down below. This was, um, now I, I saw two of them and I probably have two links. So one was I think 169, one was 179. They're basically the same laser. And uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is now they claim that this you don't have to wear glasses because of this red glass in the front of it again moronic um because you're going to get uh you know reflections out of the bottom that's hitting your material wear glasses folks in good quality glasses like in the hand link i have down below you do not want to danger your eyes so don't believe them when they say, well, you don't need glasses because it's got this little red cover on it. Although I do think it's an interesting idea to help for further protection. It is not an absolute protection. So again, with that, hopefully you found this interesting. Stay tuned. I'll be doing the, some mods with this guy very shortly. And I will show you the mods that I do on the Ortura laser. So if you want to do those mods, up your game. This is probably the way to go. My fingers crossed. So with that being said, give it a big thumbs up. Swag shop up there, subscribe over there, and we'll catch you in the next video. We do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.